Hey guys, it's Jess from Marks and Motherhood, and today I wanted to quickly do a packing video for you guys and a color comparison. Junko, as you guys know, I've shown a previous packing video, which I will link the playlist down below for you guys. But they have now rebranded and are made in bags, so I'll show you guys an up-close look in a little bit. But I'm going to show you these bags right next to each other. They are still pretty much the same. The only thing that's different is the brand name on these bags and then the color obviously so I'll be showing you guys that and then I'll be showing you how I have them packed up on the inside so let's take a look so these are the two colors next to each other I have the camel color with the new Maiden logo, and then I have the blush color with the former Junco label. So like I said, they are exactly the same. The only thing that's changed is the rebranding. So any of the videos that I've done for this bag will be the same as the ones for this bag. They just have a different name now. So I am going to show you guys how I have this one packed up, but this is the color comparison for those that are interested. Alright guys, so I pretty much have this packed up for my newborn and my toddler. I don't carry a ton of stuff for my six, almost seven year old, or my four and a half year old, so just keep that in mind. But here, in this top zippered pocket, it is not very deep. I have a Lysol spray, just for disinfecting things. And then, here, in this front zippered pocket, is a ton of stuff. And what I love about this set of pacifiers and the pacifier clips is this is from Little Bebe. I will link it down below for you guys. But it's pretty much a retractable pacifier. So it goes apart and then goes back together. But also the other neat thing is these are the two that she tends to gravitate towards is either the Bibs or the Ryan and Rose. And if she's not feeling one of them, I can just unclip it from the pacifier and then clip on the other one and it's ready to go, which is really nice. So, like I said, those are the two different brands. You can clip it right in. Each little retractable pacifier it comes with an extra one of these, so it's just really nice to have on hand. Then next in here, I just have some Band-Aids and a Welly First Aid Kit and some hand sanitizer. And that's pretty much all for this pocket right here. I don't have anything in these side zipper pockets, but they can expand if needed for drinks and things. Then I don't have anything in this back slip pocket, but it is where I'll put like her shot records and stuff when we go to the doctors. And then in this zippered pocket here, I have some wet wipes just so they're easy to access. And that's all for the outside pockets. There is another same expandable zipper pocket here, but I also don't have anything in that one. Now for the inside of the bag. So I have this little activity for my toddler. I've shown it in the past, but it's basically just a container that I drilled a hole in and he takes these little balls and sticks them on the inside and it'll entertain him forever in his car seat at the store if we're waiting, at a restaurant, at a doctor's appointment. It's just something easy that doesn't make a huge mess. And then he's been a lot more into coloring, so I have a play pack in here for him as well, just in this back slip pocket. Now I'm gonna pull everything out from the center and then I'll show you guys the pockets. So here in the center, I have the Junco um, clutch, I guess is what you would call it. It's not sold on their site, but you can reach out to her about it and she might start selling them again. But on the inside of here, I have an extra copper pearl bib if I need it, an extra outfit, and then a wet bag for her dirty outfit. And that fits nicely in there and tucks right inside the bag. Then I have a large um, itsy Ritzy Packing Cube, and that's where I keep my kite ring sling. I love my Solly Baby Wrap at home, but it's a little harder with how much material there is on the go, so I prefer ring slings on the go so that I can wear her wherever we're going if she's a little bit fussy, and this just kind of helps protect it, and it fits really nicely inside of this packing cube. 
Then the other thing I have here in the center is a copper pearl swaddle blanket. It's just always nice to be able to lay out and to use it or to wrap her up in it. So that fits nicely there in the corner. And then as you see, there's nothing else on the main things. There's only the pockets. So back here in this back slip pocket, I have a Junko change mat, which is really long as you guys can see here. It's a pretty long pad, it's tri-folded, and it has a little more padding than a gather change mat, which I like. And it's just really easy to wipe up. It folds up pretty compactly compared to other padded change mats, so I really like it. Again, it's not sold on our site. You can reach out to her and she might start selling them again, but that is what I have back here in this slip pocket. Then right next to that, I have two size six diapers for my son and four size one diapers for my newborn. And those are all the pockets there. Then there is this back zippered pocket. And in there, I have my stuff that my toddler will get into. I used to keep it up here, but he finds it. So now I have my icebreakers and my chapstick and hair ties and all of that stuff just tucked away in this back zippered pocket, which also has their new logo stamped on it. Then here in these side insulated pockets, it fits the Dr. Brown bottles really well, but once we're on the go more, I like using bottles like this, the Pop Yum, where all you have to do is pop it and then the formula goes in and you mix it up. So I have one on each side and these pockets are insulated, as you can see. All right, and I know people are going to ask, but I don't have a cup for my toddler because usually when we're headed out somewhere, I've just been giving him these cups where I'll stick a drink and then I'm able to put in some snacks here on the top tray and he'll just carry his own cup in two different places or have it in the car so I don't need to have it inside of my bag. And this is just the one that's worked better for us. He likes straws, it keeps his snack on the inside. But if you needed it to, you could. It just takes up some of the main space of the bag, as you can kind of tell with where it falls on this pocket. Then, in these pockets here, I have a pack of wipes. This is the Orchid Hearts wipe case. And then I have a Copper Pearl burp rag. And that is pretty much it. We don't pack a ton of ton of stuff when we're going on the go right now. All it is is if we're out hiking, but also if we have a doctor's appointment to go to. So yeah, that is all that I have inside of this bag, but it packs up really well, has a ton of internal organization. And like I said, the only thing that's changed is the rebranding. So keep that in mind. I wanted to throw it out for you guys that are interested in the Junko bag, just how you can find them now and purchase their bags. And I will link the site down below. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments about the stuff that I packed up inside of the bag or the bag itself, just comment down below and let me know. I'm also always willing to show stuff inside the bag if you have questions about that and just message me on Instagram and I will link my handle down below for you guys. But otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.